This guide shows you what you can do if you've run out of ports on your hub or your router. Now, on this particular router, I've only got four ports on there. Now, there is this other port here, but that's only for incoming connections. It's not for outgoing connections. So I can't use that one. So the best thing to do is to buy a network switch. Now, they're very cheap. You All you need is an unmanaged switch. I would recommend nowadays going for a gigabit Ethernet switch to make the connections that little bit faster. It makes sense in my case because this actual original hub has got four gigabit Ethernet connections. So if I bought a standard non-Ethernet, non-gigabit uh, hub, then I would probably find that I would have a bottleneck in my networking. So, like I say, any one of these will do, as long as it says gigabit on there, you can have them in four ports, five ports, eight ports, 16, 32 ports, as small or as big as you like. And all you do is you just basically pull out one of the connections from your router. So just pull out that one there, okay? And then usually the gigabit hubs are supplied with a connecting cable. But if yours hasn't, any Ethernet connection will do. Any Ethernet lead will do. So I'm just going to grab an Ethernet cable here, okay? And I've got this one here. And I'm just going to plug that end into there like so. And I'm going to grab the other end here. And I'm going to plug that end into any one of these ports on here. So I'm going to plug that in there. And the lead I just disconnected from the hub. If I can find that again, I can plug that now into this port just here. Okay, so now this is an eight port hub. I've still got six ports absolutely free for me to plug other devices in. Now you do need to plug this in at the mains. Okay, so I'll just plug this in at the mains and you'll know when it's plugged in because you'll usually see some kind of a, a light either on there or on the, uh, the actual panel here. But this one hasn't got lights on the panel. They're uh, just up the top, just here. So there you go. That guide showed you how you can increase the number of ports on your modem, router or hub. Hope this guide helps and thank you very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech. That's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Wait YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.